Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. If you're on this video, that means you're getting a blue screen of death error message either on Windows 7, Windows 8, or Windows 10 alerting you that you have an inaccessible boot device. Now, the first thing I would do, or the first couple things I would do before trying anything that we're about to go into with this video, is unplug any external hard drives or flash drives you may have on your computer. If you have anything that the computer could confuse with your main hard drive or main partition, just get rid of it. So after you try that, I'm assuming that most of you are not able to boot into Windows at all, but if you're able to get into safe mode, I would recommend trying to remove the USB drivers from device manager and then let Windows automatically try and reinstall them. That might be getting in your way as well. So if you're able to get into safe mode and try and run the device manager, go for that. Definitely remove any flash drives that are on your computer. And if we are still stuck in this position, are probably going to be getting an automatic repair alert and then you're able to run different troubleshooting tools. So I'm gonna go underneath troubleshoot here now we have plenty of different options we can go with here. We could reset this PC. Go into it in a couple of minutes, but I'm gonna let that one go for a minute and I'm gonna go over to advanced options. I've already done an automatic repair tutorial um, for Windows 10, so I'm going to put an annotation and a link in the description for that. However, what I am going to do is show a couple different potential solutions here. So in the automatic repair video, I go over startup repair in this tutorial, I'm going to be going over a couple different items here. First, we're going to try doing a system restore. Now, depending on your processing power, this may take a couple moments to get this up. Okay, so once we're under the system restore window, we could select an account in which we are looking to restore. You have to insert your password for that account. And now if you had any system restores, they would appear right here and then you could select any system restore point. And there should be a little box that would also let you show hidden or additional system restore points. And then at that point, you would just left click on next and follow the on-screen directions. We do not have any system restore points on this computer. I would definitely recommend trying that as one of your first methods to resolving this issue. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on cancel here. And we're going to go through another couple options where we could try and fix our computer. So under troubleshoot, advanced options. If you had a system image you backed up to a CD or DVD, you, we could try going through the system image recovery. That's always a great tool, but you have to have already made a backup image. So that probably doesn't really do as much good. We could also go back to a previous build of Windows 10. So if we left click on that, I'm not actually gonna do this here, but you can actually roll back the operating system. That is another method we could try. Or what I would probably would say would be either my second or third choice matched or tied with what we just were looking at with rolling back to a previous build would be to reset this PC. So if we left click on that, we could have two different options. We could either try and keep our files when resetting or we can remove everything and have a clean installation of Windows 10. I would try doing the method of keeping my files and then at the way end, if nothing else worked and you didn't really care anymore, try removing everything and resetting Windows 10 back to a factory state. This is when having periodic backups of your computers, documents, and photos really comes in handy. Now there are other methods, and I'm sure there are tons of different solutions to these problems, and there's a lot of different causes to these problems. I can't highlight every single one in this video, I'm just going through three that I think could be useful to you guys. In addition to the automatic repair video, I will have in the description. Hopefully one of those four methods will work for you. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys out, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.